do we really fear public speaking more than death? Probably you've heard the joke from Jerry Seinfeld. Let's take a look. I saw a thing, actually, a study that said speaking in front of a crowd is considered the number one fear of the average person. I found that amazing. Number two was death. <laughs> death is number two? This means to the average person, if you have to be at a funeral, you would rather be in the casket than doing the eulogy. The joke is very funny by Jerry Seinfeld, but unfortunately, it's not true. It's not true because the original survey was done in 1973, and they asked people, what are you most afraid of? And they let people choose a number of items, not just one. And four, four out of 10 people picked public speaking. Two out of 10 people picked death. That's how the statement, we fear public speaking more than death was born. But later they did a number of surveys and when they asked people, what's your biggest fear? They said, my biggest fear is death. Still, public speaking can be a scary experience. Here are two tips for you to manage stress. Number one, breathe. Yes, I know it sounds simple. It is simple, but it's one of the best ways to, to manage stress. The important thing is that you breathe from your stomach and not from your chest. If you breathe from your chest, your shoulders will be rising like this, and it's not going to be good, so you're better off breathing from your stomach. And number two, embrace your vulnerability. Yes, embrace it, admit it, admit it that you're stressed. Maybe in one of the first few sentences, say something like that. I have some very important information to share with you today and to tell you the truth, I'm excited. I know that some of my colleagues, communication trainers will say, don't do that, don't do that, it's dangerous. They will judge you and they will think that you're not confident and, and it's horrible. Don't believe those people. You can say it, you can admit it, you can embrace your vulnerability. You will feel better and your connection with your audience will be much, much stronger. So try those tips next time you feel stressed out before an important presentation, and let me know how it went in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. For more tips on effective communication, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, and see you next time.